Okay, this is a video for Alex to show how to uh, geo-reference and reproject a uh, raster image. So you open up QGIS, you then go into your geo-referencer, okay, and then you add in the um, file you're going to geo-reference, so that should be somewhere on your hard drive. Ah, well, you can have, here we are. So I put them in desktops from Alex. And I've got the examples, here we are. Here's a chart we're going to geo-reference. So we know that this chart is in WGS84 because we have um, read it, so you can pan, zoom around, you can see you know, that it's at 58.35 and uh, where are we? I believe this is a, yeah, 6.30. So, and that 6.30 is north and the 58.35 is west. So we start adding in ground control points. So let's add in points. So you zoom in, find your point, click in the center of it. Now it is west, so it's minus 58, 36, because we're putting it in as a degrees, minutes, and seconds rather than decimal degrees. And then Sorry, it isn't 36, it's 38. The joys of actually panning out and seeing what it is you're meant to be doing. And then... Okay. 6.36. Now we're doing this in a geographic projection of the instance so we can change that if we want but currently it's set to the right one you change it by going in here so we're using a, a WGS84 EPSG4326 so we can just leave that as it is what I've done is I've copied this one uh, because I'm going to reuse it again so what we now see at the bottom is a point and this is saying that uh, in terms of the image space, we have this coordinate and it should exist in this coordinate or latitude and longitude in terms of the, the real world. So let's add some more. So here we are, you then pan around your image. This one is now at 33. So let's go in, get to our point, and Okay. This one will be 6.30. Sorry. Yeah, just confirming 6.30. And that's the point we're going to choose, just here. And the aim of this is to get as you know, many points in as are relevant because you can start to see here we're, we're getting residuals. And those residuals are essentially telling you how accurately um, it is applying a correction to this one. So um, that's at 32 and that's at 636. So let's just put one in here. I tend to do a minimum of four, but the more you put in, the better. Uh, so that one is minus 58, 32, 6, 36. Okay. Um, okay. So then what we do, we can save our GCP points. And it'll tend to do that essentially using your uh, the prefix of your file name and then we can look at what we're going to do for our transformation settings. So you can choose your transformation type. I tend to use a first order polynomial, but you know, 
choose what you see as fit. Uh, then give it an output file name. In this instance, it tends to use the original file name as a prefix. I put in the uh, what we're projecting to in terms of a geographic coordinate system in there. So that's WGS84. Um, save the GCP projects points and then load it into a project when done. So let's just click on OK. And so now we tell it to run the projection. So it's now georeferencing the layer. And it's successful because it's told you. So now let's exit the georeferencer. And now we see that image within um, QGIS. And as we can see at the bottom, the coordinates are in lat long. So what we do now is we go into raster and go into projections. And we'll do a warp reproject. So we're going to take that image. The source projection is uh, WGS84. Um, and our target projection, because we're in Guyana, is in WGS84, but UTM zone 21 north. OK, um, we will then tell it to save to a specific file. Um, and that will be this, but with the suffix UTM zone 21 north. OK. We say that that's what we want to save as, and then we tell it to run the reprojection. Absolutely wonderful. So close that. So if we now close this projection, sorry, close this project, and then add in the data, so home, desktop, um, from Alex, charts. Alex, example, give me just a second, Reshma. And there we are. And we can add in to that. Google satellite, and we can see they all overlap in the right place. All is done and dusted. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Enjoy this, Alex.